Welcome to the show. My guest is James. James has AIDS, and he doesn't care who he infects. That's why. Why, if you have AIDS, and you know when you give somebody AIDS, you're basically giving them a death sentence. Yes, I know that. Why wouldn't you care? Because I don't get no morals. You don't have any morals? Not no morals. And why don't you? Because he gave it to me, and every time I affect somebody, I think about what he did to me, I'm doing to them. And I get bragging rights. And the more people I infect, the more accomplishments I make, and everything like that. So you're going around infecting people. Let me say this. Some, some guy gave you AIDS. Yeah. And it hurt you. No. You, you weren't hurt by the fact... So when you were told you have HIV, you weren't saddened, you weren't mad, you weren't angry? No. You I, were happy? No, I just felt revenge. Well, you, I felt revenge. No. When you were told the first time, I, I suppose the doctor told you, right? Did the doctor tell you? Yeah. When he told you you have HIV, somebody gave you HIV, really, tell me the emotion that you had. I just felt revenge. You didn't feel revenge. You, you, you're told you have uh, this deadly virus, this deadly disease, and you, you oh, revenge? That's, that's BS. I don't believe that. That's, that's not a response anybody would have. You're being told you have disease that's eventually going to kill you, and you're telling me you weren't angry, you weren't mad, you weren't fearful? In a way, yes. No way, no. Okay. Not in a way, no. In a way, yes. You were fearful. I got it. It's a natural thing for you to be fearful that you're going to die. I don't. I don't feel like I'm going. To when die. you were told that you were fearful, I. Just, you know. Why did you call the show? Cause I wanted to tell my story. And well, what is your story? That I got HIV and I want the world to know to be aware of me. Cause I will give it to you if you if you sleep with me. If you sleep with me. <laughs> So basically what you're saying is, I will kill you. I am a murderer. Yes. So, you know, I mean, I don't let scumbags sit on my stage. I certainly don't let murderers sit on my stage. Get your ass off. Since you've been affected, how many people have you slept with? Over 200 people. And I kept a diary of since 94, I've slept with 50 people. And, and of these 200 people that you've slept with since you've been infected, you haven't told any of them? Nope. Oh my God. And when you're sleeping with them, they don't ask. It's like, don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> you know when you're sleeping with them, and you know you're basically killing them. Yes, I don't care. And these people, they're just, they're nice to you, they meet you, they're attracted to No, you. They, they ain't nice to me. They're all crackheads. They're all black. And they all, walk in front, they all walk in front of my house. And all I got to do is say, you're cute. And they come to me and say, you want to do something? I say, sure. Well, I pay them. I pay some of them. But most of them I don't pay. All they want to do is fall crack in my house. And I get the sex I want. And that's how it is. You know what? During, during, during my show, being a policeman for 12 years, I met a lot of people that were down in their lives that were crackheads that just really had nothing going for him, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to kill him. I just want revenge. Well, then why don't you go kill the guy that gave you AIDS? Why are you killing innocent people? Because I'm, for one, for one, I don't know for a year. What? You said you, you, you do it to black, why black people? Since he gave me AIDS, I'm not attracted to white people. I want to get back at black people. Oh. What, why? Because, was he black? No, he was white. What? If, 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 you know, I don't, I don't get the, the rationale at all, but if a white guy gave it to you, why do you want to infect black people? Because I'm attracted to black people now. So you'll just, you're, you'll, every person you're sleeping with, you're okay with killing them? Yes. Really? Yes. Is there anybody that you love in this world? The guy I'm with now. And do you have unprotected sex with him? We haven't had sex yet. Well, you, do you love him? Yes. Will you have unprotected sex with him? 
I gotta think about that. Does, does the guy that you're with now, does he know that you're HIV positive? I might have told him, but he figured it out. He figured it out. Because I go to an organ organ So even if, let's say, <coughs> you got drunk, you, you, whatever, you wouldn't stop yourself from killing the guy that you're in love with now? I can't answer that. If, if, if you have a moral issue with that, why wouldn't you have a moral issue with all these other people? Because they're scum. <laughs> and who are you? <laughs> now you say you have no conscience, but you now you're with a guy that you're in love with, and you can't tell me, maybe I won't do it with him. So you do have some morals. You're thinking, maybe I don't want to kill this man, but you're okay with sleeping with all these other people and killing them? And because they might be crackheads or black or whatever you want to say, you're, oh, you're really okay to take their lives. Yes, I do. Are you okay that then they might go back and some person that's totally innocent, like a wife, like a child, you're okay with killing them too? Yes. You know what you are? You are a serial killer. You are, and, you, and, and think about it. I want you to think about it. What, I mean, a guy like you, you probably never understand. <laughs> but children, you're okay with killing children? Yes. Uh, when they tell me I can't hit anybody on the show. <laughs> it's a felony what you're doing. You're evil. You're going to...